लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल ईट हेल्थ ही कैट रिच ड्रिंक गुड बियर आई एम जस्ट ऑफ फ्रॉम द कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल फ्रॉम मेगन सी ओ ओ ऑफ गलेक्सी and i am just buzzing so i thought i'll just quickly uh, record this video so the stock has performed pretty amazing uh, it is up 12% on this channel when we introduced this stock it was 0.02 when i first bought this stock it was 0.06 so i was carrying a big bag since december but all of those pains have gone away now i posted uh, a few weeks ago <laughs> I got emotional probably i said who sold uh, because the bus is uh, uh, still at the station and uh, honestly uh, i i i you, you can see my history here okay i i took crazy amount of notes you can either read this horrible uh and writing i have actually two pages of notes so i thought i'll just uh, summarize if you are invested in gaxi you should join the gaxi tiger group on the discord because those guys are absolutely amazing so shout out to all of them i bought this stock in december guys when it was 0.06 uh two 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 people uh comforted me it was uh, the gaxi tiger group and also the london investor so i was talking to ahmed via facebook text explaining the reasons why i believe in this company and thanks to ahmed and uh, the gaxi tiger group I kept believing and what a decision it was. Uh my price target when I bought in December was 0.20. I'm going to revise it to 0.40. Yes, it is very very conservative guys. Sorry if I'm uh, sounding a little bit cautious, but that's the way I am. That's the style I have. Without any further ado, let's go into the details of uh, the conference call. So most exciting the revenues have gone up by 32% and this is in spite of covid this is in spite of deferred revenues so megan uh, highlighted uh, this issue there is a case of deferred revenue which basically means they, they, the money is going to come but there is also a case of backlog orders so those are the orders that the company has not fulfilled yet um i have covered uh, many many topics which megan said uh, in the interview about the acquisition of the marketing company about hiring the new uh, coo who has abundance of sales experience um they have expanded into new territories california texas they have expanded internationally they have sales internationally australia and canada they have launched several products and those products are easier to use in the classroom the product they are really proud of is the emergency response messaging i think in us it's very very important for every k12 school that is very very important and megan was asked are you going into hospitals are you going into police are you going into other departments and she was sensationally clear saying their major focus is still k12 that's where billions and billions of dollars worth of revenue is going to come she did not exclude the fact that they can sell into other sectors i like this guys i i really like this razor sharp focus in the startup companies is all i am looking as an investor most of you who are watching this video about 86% are still not subscribed come on guys i'm a small town youtuber i have no skill sets whatsoever in terms of uh, recording these videos i will really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button i'm not following any of youtube algorithm rules i worked in boston i worked in silicon valley i'm not doing any search engine optimization i'm not looking into any statistics i'm not doing vidiq i'm not doing clickbait i am not doing anything i'm a weekend youtuber guys so please hit that subscribe button she did say that it was one of the hardest quarter because of covid um also because of the presidential election 50% gross margin now that's what they're getting i think as an investor i'm really happy my company is getting 50% uh, uh, gross margin i think that is sensational 
They have new offices in Jackson Villa, Arizona. Several regional managers have been recruited. Accounts receivable is 1.2 million, which is brilliant. Accounts payable is 1.3 million, but that's fine. They have reduced the convertible debt to almost zero. So she did allude to this that this quarter might not look amazing on the balance sheet, but give this company few more months. As an investor, I will hold long. I will really hold long. She did say that the next earnings will probably reflect the health of the company better. They have higher level of institutional equity. So now they have a direct line of cash, basically uh, cushioned to become a much, much larger company. This is all very, very exciting, guys. One of the questions was, do you sell to government? Uh, Megan was very, very diplomatic and saying that most of the schools are government uh, schools. Anyways, I, I think that was very interesting. The thing that really caught my eyes is that she said that listing to a major exchange is still her main target. And she said she knows exactly what it takes to be listed on a major exchange. And one of the questions was, would you do reverse split? Again, this is slightly negative, but I think her answer was neither yes or no. If there is no other option to uplist and the board recommends it, they might consider it. This is my view, okay? By the way, guys, this is still the same Merlot from yesterday, the Barefoot Merlot. This channel is all about responsible drinking. You should enjoy the alcohol. Alcohol should not enjoy you. She was asked like, which is the best product? And again, she was very diplomatic and uh, the visual alert system, uh, the communication systems, the intercom systems, they're all one of their best selling products, but it's not a household name. So they want Galaxy to be the household name. And that really as an investor, uh, makes me happy. That's their ambition. Really interesting question of uh, uh, competitors and it was said about Boxel, you know, but she, uh, Galaxy supplies to Boxel by the way. So her, in, her answer, as a scientist, as a cancer biologist, as an aging scientist, her answer was absolutely brilliant. And she said, she will convert competition <laughs> into customers. I, 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 don't, I haven't seen this mentality ever before. She was asked, what is the major pain point? And she said, marketing. And then she said, well, we seem to have solved it by hiring the CEO, Brickman, who's gonna uh, take care of that. Once the school's gonna open, I think it will be a explosion of sales. They have award-winning products, guys. They have outstanding products. If they can sort the marketing, this company is going to the moon. So my revised price target is 0 0.40 and I'm going to stay long with this company. I'm going to stay loyal to this company. In fact, I might, <laughs> I don't know if I can rebalance the portfolio tomorrow, I will buy more. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.